back my lovely darlings to my channel today um i want to talk about another wonderful lady um personally i'd never really heard about before i started this research and i think i actually found her just because i wanted to find someone from this part of uh, the world so as you know i like to have um videos about ladies from all over the place and um, i thought it's time to maybe find someone from uh, south america and um, I was thinking, you know, why not to choose Argentina? And this way, basically, I started looking at Argentinian uh, ladies of like some kind of maybe higher position. That's how basically I found Juliana uh, Avada. She's basically a former first lady of Argentina. And I want to choose her because obviously she's not already a first lady. So I think all the political, like if some kind of maybe um, controversial political stories, I don't think they, obviously I'm never interested in that. I'm only choosing the ladies that I think they would dress really nice and then there's something uh, more into them and we can obviously learn something from them. So I think in this situation it's actually great that she's not a first lady anymore, she's former first lady. But the point here is really to talk about ladies that we can get inspired by and uh, as well talk about their outfits. And a little bit about her, Mariana Juliana Avada, um, born 3rd April 1974, is an Argentinian businesswoman and um, who basically served as a first lady from 2015 to 2019. In 2016, Juliana Avada was chosen as the most elegant first lady in the world by magazine uh, Ola. Which shows you as well that obviously she is very elegant, she has this kind of lots of class and uh, she's a really beautiful woman as well. Um, when it comes to her background, um, she was born in, um, as I said, in April in 74th and she's the daughter of Ibrahim uh, Avada, a Lebanese a Muslim immigrant from the city of the Baalbek and Elsa uh, Esther Baker of Syrian descent. She had actually a daughter as well with a, um, from her previous relationship. She wasn't married. Uh, he was, she was living with um, Belgian businessman uh, Bruno Laurent uh, Barbier who she met on a flight to um, of Air France and despite live together all for almost 10 years they never married but they had a, they have a daughter um, named Valentina. She is a first lady of um, Buenos Aires. Avada and Maur Mauricio Marci began a relationship in 2009. They went they wed on 16 November 2010 and they have one daughter Antonia born in 2011. Uh, in interview with La Nación newspaper in 2012, she, she stated that actually her father um, is a liberal Muslim who did not object to Juliana's sister uh, marrying a Christian uh, and other uh, Jew. So, you know, it's nice to see that as well, that uh, people are open-minded and she's coming from the family that her father is obviously open-minded and it doesn't really um, affect him that the daughter decided to marry someone outside from his religion. And I think this is something that um, it would be really lovely in the, if the world would be more like this and if people wouldn't be so like um, getting um, upset that some people mix basically in between religions. I personally think that world would be much beautiful if we would be more open-minded to this kind of relationship and from even, you know, as I know people and I was living in London and there was lots of different people from different background, uh, for sure more than in um, Scotland, for example, then um, I can tell you that this was, wasn't always a case. You know, people like to stick to their uh, religions, to, to the group of their religions. They don't like to mix so much. Not everybody, but obviously I had this kind of experience as well. And I think like, honestly, the world would be much better if everybody would just accept that a, a relationship, a marriage can be between people from two different religions, you know, and there's nothing wrong about that. When it comes to her Public image and style. In 2016, she was the name of the best dressed woman in the world, according to Vogue magazine. And her current style uh, has been compared with famous ladies such as uh, Jacqueline Kennedy or um, even with um, Queen Letizia, for example, of Spain. She's really, really wonderful woman, as I'm saying. And 
she really promoted I think as well Argentina in really good way um, she was also focused on promoting Argentina like from the perspective of art when it comes to her style because that's what obviously I want to talk to you as well about I think she has this kind of classic but sometimes maybe even like a edgy as well style so you can find that she is not really boring she um, has her like you can see that her style is like like describing her as well she's very classic woman um but has this kind of like natural natural for her you know like style that is perfect for her you know sometimes we see people they are beautifully dressed up but when they speak and and then you know the whole basically perspective of them doesn't really maybe work for them they try to be classy because obviously they that's how they want to be um view by the word but sometimes the style doesn't really work for the personality but in her situation i think it just works lovely she's very feminine she's obviously very beautiful she has beautiful legs you're going to see lots of pictures with dress with dresses and skirts she has this kind of power to her and i really like that about her as well that she's representing this kind of uh powerful woman can achieve a lot of things she's very representative she has this kind of powerful image for me and i think that's really really lovely and seeing a woman like this that it's very like um powerful and have this kind of energy of um being very confident i think this is really really nice and taking even even this little thing from her that you can be powerful if you as well believe in yourself and being confident give you this kind of image of little bit more interesting people finding them interesting as well because um there's this kind of energy coming from them when it comes to her outfits obviously i chose some of the outfits i want to um show you and one of those outfits is this one here. It's very simple, but it's so lovely and so feminine. The color works lovely with her skin. And she has this kind of olive tone skin as well. Um, beautiful red, little bit shorter dress. Um, but gives you this kind of youthful look. She obviously has a beautiful silhouette. We need to acknowledge that as well. Um, you can see her husband on this picture as well. He's a former um, Argentinian, Argentinian president. Um, with this dress, as I'm saying, when you're going for this kind of color, um, remember that it's going to give you more like younger look, which I think it's really lovely. And obviously all the women always want to look a little bit younger than they are. Only maybe if you are a teenage girl, then you're probably aiming to look a little bit older. But when you're adult, you always try to look a little bit younger. And that this look gives her that. So stronger colors like this, a little bit shorter dress can give you this kind of effect to look a little bit younger. Um, medium dress, obviously they are a little bit more respectful, but they can um, give you this kind of little bit uh, mature look. That's basically how it is. You know? Another really lovely business woman type of look uh, is this one here. And you can see she was behind some kind of flag. She might be a Bru Brussel or something like this. She was somewhere um, for a business a kind of meeting. And this look is really wonderful. White is again powerful color for a woman. I think when she's wearing a suit. Um, lovely heels matching the back as well. It's kind of a little bit creamy uh, off-white color. Um, then you have a white suit and then you have this kind of lovely blouse with a ruffles. Quite simple, um, but everything looks really nice. It's um, seamless, so it doesn't have any wrinkles. So it, that, that just as well improves the look. Um, obviously, those kind of things, some people take care of that, I'm sure, but uh, for her. But... Um, you know it, it just looks wonderful the trousers her legs again and the trousers are not too long as well because you could wear as well those kind of like a little bit wider trousers on the bottom i think in this situation gives you um better silhouette as well she is a very slim woman if you would go for those kind of wider trousers and obviously they're not going to create this kind of um silhouette for you in the same way like those trousers they are high waisted they can focus um create this kind of hourglass illusion so obviously the depends what kind of trousers you choose I think those works really really well for 
for this type of uh, like a professional uh, look lovely outfit um, and you can see the Queen Leticia as well here if you didn't see the Queen Leticia video this was actually one of my first videos about ladies I think she was actually my first uh, video when I was speaking about um, elegant woman then I'm going to put a link on the top and you can watch that one as well um, and I think I put the picture of Queen Leticia, this picture, uh, over there. And I actually didn't know that this is actually Juliana Avada um, in that picture. And I think it's a lovely coat with this kind of like a four. Um, I made a video about those kind of fours as well. So I'm going to put a link on the top as well if you're interested in that. This was actually quite recent. And I think this kind of a little element can add little richness. Can you upgrade you in a really good way? And it doesn't really need to be a real four. It can be like... A um, fake for um it's just your preference basically obviously she is a former first lady so you need to remember she met a lot of people from um the same category like michelle obama she has a, i have a picture somewhere here she made other elegant ladies other president wives um other queens princesses and i have a lot of pictures of that as well and one of those is the, this picture here with uh, queen maxima i made a video about queen maxima as well i think this look here with this all in light blue it's really stunning really type of look that is very classic when you put a monochrome on look fabulous and even the shoes are the same color as a coat and dress the back is a little bit um different color so it's like a beige type of bag but i think it still looks wonderful queen maxima on another hand she has this kind of vibrant flamboyant type of style another really lovely look that i think it's uh, worth it to mention is this one here and just because i wanted to show you that it's not only that you can wear a sparkle sparkling dress on some kind of new year party but you can wear those as well when it comes some kind of a um, more efficient uh, official event that's what she's wearing here and um, you can see compared to queen leticia she's wearing lovely very strong red deep red color um, which itself is beautiful but when we talk about Juliana I think she really looks stunning here she looks really like obviously it's kind of sparkling little bit like a I don't want to say a disco ball but obviously gives you this kind of little bit feeling that it's very like a disco type of look but I think it's very fun and she has this kind of fun personality and it's really lovely I love, love the finish of the dress as well that it has this kind of little bit more fun type of finish it's not boring at all and it just shows you that you can still look classy, be classy woman and have little bit different type of outfits rather than just always go for a classy outfit and this is more fun outfit another look that I think it's worth it to mention as well is this one here all beige and as you can see um, only the shoes in the back are the same color which is like a burgundy I would say or like dark brown and everything in beige, beige color works for everyone honestly a color that works for so many ladies and it just gives you this kind of richness you look much more expensive uh, rather than if you would wear everything in black that is a little bit more like, sad color but when you go for beige it just gives you this kind of expensive finish and i think that's what you can see here and if you want to look like this like more expensive than beige color it's always really really good idea on the end, I wanted to mention this look because um, sometimes we I spoke with you to, to you about like outfits to some kind of gala, some kind of uh, like opera or theater, and I think we sometimes go for black because it's very like a classic type of color, but we actually there are obviously other colors and let's not forget as well about white that you can wear a lovely white long type of like a maxi type of dress and um, what she's wearing here it's really really beautiful she has this kind of like a gold type of belt um in the waist just to give you again um just create better silhouette white like a little box type of bag and you can see her legs obviously because she has a lovely legs and um sparkling some kind of sparkling i think gold or silver shoes just too much to the belt as well i love how the hair look like she has beautiful neck and when you have this kind of neck then obviously showing a little bit more your neck it's very feminine part of the body then it gives you this kind of femininity as well um 
obviously she looks wonderful here next to her husband who is as well very handsome uh, man it just shows you that she has this kind of she could go just for normal white cover dress more modest not showing any legs but this way she shows you a little bit her personality that she likes to have um, she like to maybe bro break some rules a little bit here and there. She want to um, have a little bit more interesting, maybe a little bit more sexy sometimes style rather than just very, very classic. Um, and it's nothing wrong about that. It's just showing your personality. I think your outfit, your type of um, wardrobe you create for yourself should really show your personality. And I think... Um, that's what she's doing and I really appreciate that you know that she's not just very very classic but um, she has this kind of little um, sparkle to her outfit she has this kind of little bit spice of her and just creating something that um, represent you know who she is um, I think we finished on this outfit obviously there's lots of different outfits I will try to squeeze uh, some other pictures like I always do I hope you enjoyed this video I like to talk about other uh, like ladies and I like to choose them from all around the world um, who knows who is going to be next but I hope you enjoy if you did please leave it a thumbs up because as I'm always saying it's really supporting my channel and hopefully see you in the next uh, video